The most common horse health issues we come across day to day would be lameness, uh, probably followed by respiratory disease, and then gastric ulceration is certainly up in, in the top three. So the main causes of egus are intermittent feeding, so they're going from an environment where, they, well, where they've evolved to eat all day long to an environment when they're not, they're eating intermittently. Um, so that, you know, because they're secreting acid all the time, the acid in their stomach builds up and that causes ulceration of the mucosa. Um, it's also thought that when they work, their stomach contracts, and so the bottom half of their stomach has got some protective factors to protect against the acid, but the top doesn't. So if their stomach's contracted, the acid can rise, and that can also cause or contribute to ulceration. The typical symptoms of egus are usually in appetence, so that's the most common thing we'd see. So uh, poor doings, so they're not gaining weight or losing weight. Um, usually poor coat. Um, I mean, some of them don't show very many signs at all, but when you treat them, they improve. So, uh, but in foals, you see more teeth grinding, bruxism, uh, but in adults, it's mainly just poor appetite. We've done some studies here, actually, and we found sort of 86 to 89%, so, you know, eight or nine out of every 10 horses. And that's pretty consistent with studies done internationally and, um, you know, in, in other groups of horses other than race horses as well. So it's a, a large proportion. So GastroAid has four key ingredients. We have antacids, we've got pectin and lecithin, we've got the agrogamos, beta-glucans, and also Luvasal. Number one is antacids. Now these work by raising the pH of stomach juices, and they help to protect the stomach wall from the harsh effects of gastric acid. Think of it as complementing the natural buffering ability of the horse's own saliva. So pectin and lecithin is a really important component with GastroAid. What these do is they form a gel-like lining in the stomach wall and this is awesome because it basically provides a really nice thick protective layer on that stomach mucosa so the gastric juices cannot penetrate the wall. So GastroAid contains agrimos. This is a prebiotic containing both mannooligosaccharides and beta-glucans. It basically improves the body's immune system. So the probiotic Luvasal yeast is a concentrated form of live yeast that assists the colon's digestive processes. And so this is really important, especially for those horses on a high grain diet. It also helps to improve feed utilization by stimulating the growth and increasing the activity of fiber-loving bacteria in the hindgut. We can summarize the key benefits of GastroAid as Number one, the prevention and healing of gastric ulcers. We've had plenty of feedback that tells us that the behavioral effects from lack of pain due to ulcers can be seen within three or four days of starting treatment. Two, it supports and strengthens the immune system and how it functions. Another benefit of GastroAid is that stomach and hindgut pH is stabilized. This has really marked benefits in reducing the incidence of ulcers in both the stomach and the colon. And last but not least, it promotes beneficial microbes. And this helps with improving feed utilisation and prevention of hindgut acidosis. So GastroAid is one of those products that I truly believe has a place in the diet of any horse or pony that's under any sort of stress. That can include those that are racing or competing, traveling often, mares and foals that are stabled. I would also recommend it when your horse is ill, particularly if you're using anti-inflammatory painkillers.